Hi everyone, Katrin here. Today I'll be taking you through how to create an Instagram carousel in Photoshop. Let's go. So here's some examples of some Instagram carousels. Um, they're very popular within Instagram at the minute. You'll see them also on LinkedIn, but they're um, exported a bit differently. So today we're just going to be talking about how to create Instagram carousels and how to make them engaging, intriguing and wanting people to see more of them and getting your style across within the Instagram carousels. So here's one I've created just now just to basically show you the process of how I create my Instagram carousels. I'm a sports designer so I've got a lot of sport related things within this carousel and I just want to show you how to start from well basically from start to finish on how to lay it out how to use the layouts getting the guides correct and the size correct so when you do upload it to Instagram it will look very smooth so let's start with the process so typically a Instagram post is 1080 by 1080 but obviously because we're using more than one square for this, I'm using four. So the width will need to multiply by four and I've already done that maths. So it's 4,320. And then RGB, resolution 72. Yeah, that's all fine. Great. So we'll see it's very long sort of artboard and then we need to divide it into four different um, sort of layout so we know where to place our images and our text and everything so this is how I do it obviously there's a few more different ways to do it so I go to view new guide layout and I've already got this set up before so this is what I used before so the columns which is the amount of carousels you want so if you wanted five you would have had to add another 10,080, no, 1,080 1, to your, the width of your image. So that would be five, but on this one, obviously we're using four. So four images and rows, you just keep to one just because if we don't have that, it won't slice the bottom and the top. So we've got columns, four, rows, one, and then we click OK. And then we can see where we're going to place our images here now. So I'm just going to take what I've done previously. So these are the layers that I've used. Um, I've got the title on the first slide, which is the first slide that everybody sees. So when they're on your profile, this is what they'll see. They won't see any of these. They'll need to have to click to actually view these or scroll to view these. So this first slide needs to be quite intriguing and have big blocky text like I've repeated in these in these other slides. So I think with the big blocky text, it's just so when people are scrolling through your page or your Instagram profile, that something needs to jump out and something needs to be a little bit intriguing and they want to see what's next so on this one I've put how to design an Instagram carousel and I've added a little arrow here so then when they scroll they'll scroll to this bit and then they'll see another arrow they'll scroll again and then there's more points here and then they'll scroll again because this so on the third one there'll be some sort of um, so you won't be able to see this fourth slide, obviously, because this will be on its own. And this having images that um, crop over from one side to the other, and you can't actually see the whole thing, that's quite intriguing. People want to see the whole thing, so they'll scroll across. Um, this works really well with images and arrows, but keep your text within each section. So don't overlap your text, otherwise, it's not going to be legible and people it's not a good experience for the user so please keep that in mind another thing i would recommend is to have your watermark on the first and the end slide so i've put <clears throat> at katrin designer which is my instagram and my twitter 
in the top left on this one and in the top right on this one just so people can see that it's you they can't that you need to you don't want to put it on everyone because it gets quite annoying and it it gets in the way of the content as well so we just want to keep it on the la on the first on the first and the last one and then so obviously you've got your question here and then in the next couple of frames you want to you want to deliver on that message pretty quickly because otherwise people will just go off they won't be interested they want to know the the answer to this question obviously I haven't answered it in this this is just a um, example so I've put big blocky text this is definitely key because people just want to see something that shouts out at them and just having something that flows around so I've put the footballs here I've put them flowing through the whole thing so this was actually meant to be on top Oops. so I put it on top of the text and it just it just flows through so people want to see the continuity of the images going through arrows they um, they do help a lot bullet points so say you've got a few key points to point out on something you can put them in bullet points and have still have your big blocky text on each on each slide I would say just to keep it um, keep it flowing and then having these images that, that cross over like a, like I said before and then the last um, slide I would recommend to have some sort of questions so people can follow up so they don't just drop off and go somewhere else so they viewed it and then okay I know now but you want people to engage with your content so on here I just put what will you create so asking the user a question and a specific question don't just say what do you think people don't really want to answer those sort of things so ask what will you create say if you've done a, a slider on I don't know a product maybe ask what color would you get it in um, just something that something intriguing so <clears throat> the um, whoever's viewing it wants to answer your question so you, you want to be interested and then obviously definitely reply to to all the comments as well that that really helps with your Instagram engagement so when we come to exporting this now we want to slice it so we'll go on to slice so hold down this so you may have it on crop tool but I've got it hold down here and slice tool slice from guides at the top here and then you'll see one two three four so this is all sliced from these guys that we created at the start they've sliced every single image ready for us to export so we'll go export save for web because we're not using artboards in this instance and you'll see on here now one two three four so you can select each one and, and make sure so you can press shift and hold but you don't really need to do that so we'll press save and make sure you've got all slices here all slices and then every single slice that we've created will get sliced ready for export so we'll put Instagram carousel save so you see here now we've got our images exported so we've got one two three four and you'll see that they've all been sliced correctly they're all 1080 so we'll see them in big here and then you just upload it to Instagram so when you go on Instagram you'll see there's a little I think it's a little like a window sort of button and you press that and then you can go so this will be your first one this will be a second one this will be a third one and fourth one and then <clears throat> it will be seamless and it should come up pretty well so hopefully this helped you if you have any issues just leave them in the comment box and if this did help you please leave a like and subscribe that would really help me out a lot um, yeah so show me yours if you if you create an Instagram carousel leave the links in the comments and I'll have a look at them It'd be really cool to see what people create from my short tutorial thank you see you soon